Frank Hearn and SMMA. What can you learn from him and how can Frank enable you basically generate those like magic results for your clients in e-commerce niche, right? Now, the reason I brought up Frank Hearn as opposed to, for example, David Ogilvy is because, you know, everybody is like, David Ogilvy, he's a great advertiser, great copywriter. By the way, yes, that's the topic of this video, right? Copywriting. You know, I'm pretty heavy on that because I really believe that in order to really get the best results for your e-com clients, as a social media marketing agency owner, you need to be having more on copy and creative, like on the on the app level of your uh, Facebook ad campaign, then, you know, campaign to where it says we're targeting because, you know, with the iOS 14 thread, like it's kind of complicated, but we're not going to go into technicality right here. So the reason being, I brought up Frank Hearn, but uh, David Ogilvy is because I, that's what like basically Frank Hearn said, right? Copywriting is something that is like, it's it's a mortal concept, right? The concept of copywriting is immortal, it's changeless, it's just perpetual framework, it does not change, right? What has changed though is the way we present copywriting, right? The 20 years ago was like, six, like 60 years ago was like what, like freaking uh, ads, like, you know, on white papers or the info commercials, right? It's, it's, it's kind of boring, right? Now it's a interactive marketing, and Frank is, I say, the father of internet direct response marketing. I mean, it's all about interactive marketing anyway. Now, the reason I think you should study Frank Hearn as opposed to David Ogilvy is because he's really, really heavy on copywriting, especially on the internet. And I think this guy has tested so me so much copy in Facebook ads and Google ads and all those advertising platforms that we use on a daily basis as a social media marketing uh, agency owners. And I really want to give credentials to Frank because guys, I bought almost every single program that Frank uh, has ever put out there. Every, well, I mean, I'm, I spent maybe like 20 plus K bucks for the last like two years uh, buying his courses, webinar blueprint, info business blueprint. I'm talking about book funnels, uh, his, um, inner circle uh, maximizer program i'm in it right now i'm paying 397 a month now it's not available or available for like crazy amount of money right uh continuity programs all of those programs right the mass control mass convert you remember those right so and i can tell you that that in every of these programs he goes really really heavy on facebook ads it's all about facebook ads. he does not talk about like too much about google ads or youtube ads or I mean, TikTok is ad does does bullshit. That's not for that, right? But Facebook ads is what he talks about, and that's what he preaches. And in today's video, I really, really want to show you basically one of his angles and one of his copy of Facebook ads because I really, really be believe that in order to succeed with Facebook advertising, it's not all about metrics and. Of course you can understand that, right? But it's not all about like targeting, especially, you know, with, uh, as I said, with iOS 14 and all this, it's more of a like copywriting and creative. That's basically two important things, right? Stop the scroll, give the good copy and optimize for, basically there's only one metric that I optimize for in Facebook ads and it is your CTR unique link click, right? Not CTR all because CTR all is just, um, you know, it tracks like how, if they just, you know, if, if you have like a uh, long-term copy, which you should do, if they just click, learn more it's like you know it counts like a ctro but actually you gotta like optimize for ctr link click because this is what tracks people going off of platform going off of facebook to your website right how compelling your copy is to basically persuade people to basically get off the platform to your website to your funnel or to your uh landing page so that being said let's dive into my slides and i'll show you uh frank's facebook angles so guys, welcome to the training. Uh, today, we're talking about Facebook copy angles and uh, frameworks that work. Now, a uh, little disclaimer. Uh, this training just supplements uh, Frank work. It does not replace that, right? So if you find myself, you know, uh, if, you, if, you, if you find myself contradicting to what Frank says, which you probably won't because I've watched his training. I basically drilled his knowledge. You gotta listen to him, not me, because you know I, I don't have that 20 years of credibility, uh, of course. So, first up, how to spice up your how to Facebook ads without having to, you know, write cringe copy that makes you feel like you need to wash your hands after writing it, blah, blah, blah. So, basically, how to spice up your how to ads. That's already. Uh, you know, that's already the ad. That's where it could be the ad. 
the word without, right? Um, the word without is down here for, you know, the purpose of it is basically to address the, the fear and, you know, the fear that your prospect or your buyer has, right? Again, these angles, you might say, well, Danny, it's bullshit. We in SMMA, you're talking about the info business because we're in info business. I specifically angled that presentation for e-commerce, which means that physical products like Shopify that there's sold on Shopify, WooCommerce, uh, whatever you sell your products on, right? Where you have like um, ha hand coded like HTML website, doesn't matter, right? So the word without basically handles the objections that you are, or fears that your buyers can have. And again, this is what you should ask your uh, prospect, sorry, your client, uh, to tell you, right? Because when you onboard a client, right, as a SMA owner, and when you onboard a client, you need to ask about his or her brand audience, right? Because if you don't understand his or her brand's clients and what do they want, you will never get the like, you know, 5x, 8x, 14x uh, ROAS uh, results, right? That's what we aim for because, you know, ROAS deal is pretty sweet. So, example. Uh, again, ordering, right? Again, just took it from from took it uh, the uh, the image from the Google. Absolutely, you know, mm, it's not a copyright. It's not it's not the actual ad. I just created this. I wrote it like in fifty seconds. So do, do, do not judge me on that. But basically, um, again, how to spice up your ad? How uh, how to spice up your how to Facebook ads? We're going to this, right? How to improve the quality of your sleep? You can just put that like like a line of copy on Facebook and, you know, uh, get shitty results because people, uh, when they see this, right, how to improve the quality of your sleep, the first question that comes up in their mind is like, I don't believe you. Like not, 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 not even like the question, the objection, I should say, I don't believe you. Like, oh, I, I've heard that. Why should I listen to you? Without it basically, you know, uh, adjusts their fear, kind of handles that objection without wasting your time on a run of a mile advice. Again, it's getting kind of like wacky um, example. I don't know why I wrote it, but like, again, it took, took me just 15 seconds. Again, guys, I'm, I'm not teaching you copywriting. I'm teaching the framework. Uh, so this is a good, you know, open, open line for Facebook ads, right? You can just throw up on Facebook and say like, hey, how to improve the quality of your sleep without wasting your time on a, you know, a uh, run of a mile advice if you're selling ordering, just for an example. Example number two, how to improve your boxing punch strength at home without having to stack hefty dumbbells. Again, those, all the headlines that I wrote myself, it, only myself. How to improve your boxing punch strength at home. Hmm, uh, probably use something, you know, um, you know, like it's, it's, it's kind of weird, right? Like how do I do that, right? Without having to stack hefty dumbbells. And it was like, well, first of all, I do not say without having to use, uh, like have to dumbbells or without having to buy, uh, you know, dumbbells. Because if I say that, it's already like kind of claim and Facebook and Facebook does not like claims because if you, cl if you claim something, it is really, really like a dangerous kind of edge uh, that nobody likes because claims are reason for a lot of chargebacks and you're gonna just you know fuck up the stripe and stripe will hate you for that and you know uh you'll get blocked and turned off by stripe you'll get basically get fired uh from it or paypal whatever right so we do not want to make claims basically if you, want to, if you make claim uh i'm not even saying that the stripe gets like you know uh educated i'm talking that your uh, ad account can get restricted by that or you know if you have a lot of uh of course, ads being restricted and uh, disapproved. Now, I'm basically like uh, getting around kind of Facebook uh, policy, right? I'm kind of like finessing the system a little bit. How to improve your boxing punch strength at home without having to stack. I imply like you don't want to like stack uh, at your house, at your house, some hefty dumbbells, but still selling a product, right? This, uh, what is it like? boxing resistant boxing fucking pull rope i don't know how to call it but you get the point right uh how to improve your boxing punch strength at home 
without having to stack half dumbbells. Now, third example: how to night read your favorite books. Pretty basic, right? Like, well, how to how to night read your favorite books? Wow. Without letting up your whole room or using uncomfortable neck hang lamps. And so, oh yeah, if I want to read like night read books, I gotta like put a lamp or buy this like a you know uh, neck hang shit. It's it's pretty uncomfortable or you know light up my whole room. Maybe like I'm alone. Oh sorry, maybe I'm not alone, right? I don't want to wake anybody up. Boom. Without letting again, guys, I did not spend like enough time to like building those. I'm just giving you examples. It's still like not like the A1 kind of level uh, copywriting right here. But uh, the point is I'm trying to address here is that use without to handle an objection or fear, right? So for example, um, you were talking about like, let's just say uh, we go off, to, uh, off topic right here a little bit with the e-commerce. Let's say how to hire an aid agency that without hopping on the call with them right because prospects actually hate to hopping on the call because they know that you're going to use some high pressure tactics uh and all this bullshit, right try to like get them on the like try to like keep them on the phone so that they uh cannot hook the uh, hook off of it right and this is kind of like uncomfortable because us human beings would not like being uncomfortable and if i read like you know how to uh, hire ad agency that is like how to hire ad agency well if i just put that at like just like this if i just leave, leave the headline like this it's probably not gonna click you're probably not gonna get my attention but if you uh put like without and handle my objections which i which might which is hopping on a phone call it might grab my attention and i might want to listen to you now let's dive into the second route right here right here though uh you take a little different angle right you take how to spice up your ads even if right so how to blank even if blank uh you know how to spice up your uh your how to ads even if you don't have a creative bone uh inside your body so again just literally literally the same example with our ordering how to improve the quality of your sleep even if even if you've tried all the traditional sleep hygiene advice right so basically, you know, I if I if I've really tried traditional sleep hygiene advice, you can hook me in and I can like relate to you a little bit, right, and listen to you. But if you just put out a headline on how to improve the quality of your sleep and then start like going like in the body copy, right? You probably not gonna hook me in because well, I still have an objection because I always want to like have that objection. Well, well, you it's cap, you know. I always have you know have this like a cap detector on me bullshit detector on me how to improve the quality of your sleep man it's million other ads talk about this shit i don't know how like whistle me a little bit whistle me out a little bit even if you try all the traditional sleep hygiene advice right boom a little different now uh example with the with a uh boxing resistant pull rope i don't, I don't know what, what it's called resistant boxing pull rope bands i don't know how to improve your boxing punch strength even if you don't have a boxing bat at home now i want to ask i want to ask you how many of you have a boxing bag at home don't ask me why i do it but uh you know most people most people do not have a boxing bag at home they either have to go to the gym or you know sacrifice i mean i have a concrete walls right here like it's it's a concrete walls right there like i drilled out the the the, the pull bar and i hang that like the the box uh the boxing bag basically like 100 like 40 pounds 140 pounds back on that pull rope it's a pretty like fucking you know sorry part of my language again it's a pretty like it's a pretty hefty most people do not have uh you know if you live in california in your home basically made up of some like <coughs> car box a car uh car like what is that like paper box car carton box or whatever y like your 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 um your walls not withstand that pressure right it'll just they'll just fall off now right here i'm handling your best objection you're like the most painful the most painful objection right how to improve your boxing punch strength even if you don't have a boxing bag at home so basically this thing allows you to you know uh kind of like it um 
it creates that like you know the resistance uh so that your muscle basically kind of like always under pressure was create the muscle i mean it's kind of like self-explanatory but again in order to like uh improve your boxing punch right you need to practice on your boxing back but if you have that thing you, that you can buy uh for let's just say 79 dollars you can buy a back boxing back like off of craigslist or something or on ebay for 50 bucks but the point is people not that people cannot afford it people are not able to utilize that if that's the word adjust that for their house so and this is what again guys when you onboarding your uh client for your smma services you need to ask uh their you need to ask them about their brand and about their audience because the more you know about their audience and their objections the more compelling your copy will be the more money you will make the more ROAS, the high ROAS, uh you will you will get now example with uh with a lead lighting glassy lamp right here uh how to night read your favorite books even if you don't want to wake anybody up with annoying random lights again uh not too much different from the from the last angle but still addresses the problem that somebody might want to encounter uh let's do one more for smma it's basically you know you can again guys those like angles right how to without how to even if right you can use them in info business service business or uh e-commerce how to turn out facebook ad copy like a grizzle pro even if you're a victim of a blank screen blinking cursor syndrome if i've read that and i had my uh, e-commerce brand i had my e-commerce brand not like brand but dropshipping store and i was like man i really suck like i've watched those like a bullshit you know dropshippers kind of like copy testing 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 uh with the em emojis kind of fucking shit like that's man that, that that's does that like how to turn out facebook ad like copy like a grizzle pro like a grizzle pro even if you like victim of those you know blanking screen you know like when you're uh when you like click the cursor uh, on the on the on the copy like the uh, the box right the uh how do you call it like a, the the uh board box <laughs> i'm not sure the like you know like this like that that strap is basically is blinking and you're just like sitting like you don't know what to write right because you look you, you're perplexed like i'm not a great writer boom how do uh how to write compelling copy even if you you know suck a copy if you're not creative right basically back, uh, going back right here how to spice up your uh how to ads even if you don't have a creative bone in your body works for everything literally now second off uh, the best way to answer right because after that even if you state that claim people will ask you uh and will um basically will catch you and force you to back that up so what is the best way to answer and so the best ways to answer yeah but how quote unquote right questions is to uh, is by giving away uh the answer right if they ask you how to like for example um do not get on the phone with uh with uh, with you know with, uh, with with the agency so that they can use uh, your their high pressure tactics to uh, keep you on the phone you basically like uh give them the answers in your copy that's why the long-term copy again guys you don't have to give away like farm every answer right little tips just in copy like three lines you're gonna do this 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 one two three by the way if you want to learn more click the link below and uh we will help you uh basically complete walk through how to do that and how to hire you know all the tips all the all the knowledge about the uh the how to hire the best um ad agency or if you're selling for example um you know let's just say you're in e-commerce again when we talk about e-commerce if you're selling like um how to how to i don't know improve the quality again of your sleep or how to like lose I don't like you know like with the with the uh with the weight loss it's pretty complicated because again facebook hates and shopify hates uh some weight loss brands because again a lot of chargebacks tribe does not like that at all but let's say 
how to improve the swimming, like the swimming skill, right? If you like cannot swim, if you're drawing and shit, uh, how to improve your swimming skills? You basically say how to swim like a, you know, dolphin or something, right? <laughs> a dolphin, <laughs> even if you were not a dolphin, you know, or even if like you uh, you're drawing all the time in the water, or if you cannot even, um, if you can't even swim in the pool, right? And then you just like tell them, okay, guys, you gotta like airflow, like your spine should be open, and here's this and that. And by the way, there's a little product that will help you do that. Uh, boom, you've just created a compelling copy. You help them out, right? If you want to prove to somebody that you can, if, if you want to prove to someone, you, that's, I got, I got a little typo here, that you can help them, then actually help them. And so uh, that's basically, guys, super simple super straight up to the point again guys this training just supplements frank's work it does not replace that so this is just a little whack through of those two angles if you really want to know more uh comment down below if you would really like want to see like more uh, expand version maybe i'll i'll go for like an hour or something or for two hours if you want to just basically give you like hour and a half fucking the best like an polished training super straight to the point with a lot of slides with a lot of preparation if you really want to know that comment down below i'll read comments guys and you can even dm me on instagram it's daniel lid and yeah that's basically it so guys i'll see you in the next video on the next training every training is a bummer go watch my later ones those are real bummers again guys on this channel we talk about copywriting how to succeed because again if you master that one little thing called copy not little thing but copywriting you can make a lot of money for your clients and uh, if you have a row as deals you can make money with them and the more money they make the more money you make and uh you know if it's a great product which will sell everybody's happy so yes uh that being said i'm gonna wrap this up it was daniel lid and i'll see you in the next training which is gonna be absolute bomber so subscribe